What the? Don't know what the enchants do, your friend. He's, yeah, you don't look that tough. Oh, he looks that tough. That's right. We're on Cosmic. You didn't think you'd see me here, did you? If you want to see Cosmic, make sure you subscribe because we're gonna be doing it. And if you don't subscribe, I'll raid your base in real life. You know what that means? You're home. I'll get. I'll throw a. I'll throw a piece of TNT through your living room window. Subscribe. I don't have to blow your house up. So subscribe. Cosmic PVP. The space server thing. <laughs> This is perhaps, for the older viewers of the channel, one of those names that you never thought you'd hear here. <laughs> and to go just along with it, who am I with today? None other than my best friend, Sagtot. Hello, Sagtot. Hello. Oh, he's back. <laughs> I'm just so happy that I'm your best friend. After all these years of you not existing because you've not been on the channel. I just stopped existing at about 30,000 subscribers. <laughs> Wuffles, one of the YouTubers that made the server, reached out to me and he said, Hey bro, I like your content. Do you want to play my server? And I said, go away. <laughs> said, yeah. He said, oh, well, we got this one for you. Dungeon Planet. Spooky. <laughs> Cosmic is one of those faction servers that is so incredibly different from the entirety of the factions community that it almost exists in its own separate bubble from the rest of us. Cosmic features so many things. There are no gem buckets, which is very different to the rest of modern servers nowadays. There is a ton of really hardcore players on Cosmic. Legitimately thousands. And we've got to go up against them. And one of the most notable for us, there are regen walls. They work by having a lava and water con. The exact same thing as those really simple cobblestone generators everyone makes on the first day of Skyblock. These things work by making a wall out of them. Since the goal in factions is to get through every wall of a base to get to the center loot rooms, where you keep all your good stuff, your spawners, your Gear, you diamonds. You put these in the way to try and stop them. Most of the time, these are disabled on a lot of servers because they're really annoying to break. You do this, you break as many blocks as you want. They just come right back. But Cosmic allows them. Because of that, people have to adapt. We have our own secret little ways of getting through these. A lot of people use regen busters. Eh, we have secrets. Don't worry about it. Don't you, don't you even think about worrying about it. As a lot of you may know, I started out as a fact Factions YouTuber. I did tons of videos on factions. Tons! I'd say about half my channel is factions videos. I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> but I haven't played in a very long time. I'm very rusty. As soon as I joined Binster, you canning again? My god. <laughs> We're really bringing back OGs now. I'm an OG! <laughs> Finally! We're back on Cosmic. I'm trying to find us a good base spot. We already started building. Really? Why am I- what, Yeah, what we're trenching right why now. Why am I running then? <laughs> oh, we just didn't feel like telling you. I hate you so much. <laughs> you invited me! <laughs> this is Let me I... in. Oh, Let me in. Why am I holding a rubber duck? Cosmic has their own Minecraft launcher called Cosmic Client. It is dope. If the server allows it, I try and play on this client. Increase your FPS. Show a fancy wall bordery thing. Wow. It's great. Links in the description. Get it. Seriously though, it is. It is quite good. Sagtot is like a boomer. Celebrities do not exist to him. He doesn't know who Kanye West is. I've heard the names enough times to know I don't want to know who they are. <laughs> oh, by the way, I, as you said, I can't build on any line. I can't even break the grass. Can I be allowed um, to break yeah. the grass? No. But dude, uh, honestly, I miss factions. They're everyone mining like we got that guy, that guy, that guy. I can't actually see your names from up here. So <laughs> anyway, we've got a base plan and I don't know it. So can I see the yep. base plan? These guys are far better at me than factions because I've been on break for a very long time. I got them to build the base idea, the plan for what we're actually going to do. Holy mother of God. All of this hinges on the fact that we've got to be able to mine essentially up to these regens out at the very least. We really want to mine out up to the here. Okay, that's We want to mine out till the so end of the <laughs> That's yeah. so much. Why can't people just shoot straight down here? If you see here, it's basically a regen filter. To break this, they have to backstack onto these lava sources. What we do by having the pillars here is we make them have to backstack further. Now, the reason oh that this is Oh my fine... god, that's so evil. It all just clicked in my brain. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's say you were just like me and you went, wait, I can just shoot straight down the middle of this and you go and do it. So you can't break any of this. The way that regen busters work is you put a sand in the lava wall so the lava gets gets deleted by a block, basically. You can't access the lava, it comes from the side. Let's say you figure that out before you fire and not be a dum-dum like me. You go through the pillars, you go through the walls like they were actually supposed to be walls. You then, <laughs> you then are shooting straight through the regen pillar thing. You 
you hit this block over here, which is impossible to destroy. You can't break this block. It's impossible to go through anything there. So how do you do it? You need to go one block to the right. Well, guess what happens when you go one block to the right? You're back at the same problem. You have to stack sand on every single shot going back down here, which is what, 50 blocks or something? And that's how you finally end up breaking this wall. Space is such a limiting factor on factions, so if you got this, Solid, bro. <laughs> you said you were going to be tricky about this sector. What have you invented? What's different about this base? Come over here. Uh-huh. Lie down. This is so evil. I have decided I'm not going to show this. This is such a good base defense and I've never seen it used like this before. I don't really want Cosmic to know about it before we do it. Oh my god, I'm a competitive guy. We all are. This entire faction just wants to win. I want to win. Skyblock, I don't really think I could win. I think we can win this. <laughs> right, one thing left to do then. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be fun. <laughs> It's a bit later. I don't know how long later the last recording was. I don't remember what we last did, but we've been working a lot. All of this stuff has been mined out. I mined the complete border of that one side. I did a giant like square mapping out where we want to be. I got one of the explosion pickaxes. Scorps managed to get a rank which fixes picks. We've been doing this up and down the border for the entire time. I wish I had one of those shovels though. That's been the most annoying bit. I'm getting it to a point where we've got to take it from this level up and down. Look, we've even made a sign. Here we see a wild finster actually doing base work. This natural occurrence is a rare sight for anyone to witness. It is a privilege. I think he meant privilege, but he put prevail. <laughs> Only the top rank has slash fly and we couldn't find any easy way to get slash fly. So we're all just kind of stuck with all this mess above us because we can't fly up and get it. Ah, it's such a pain. A lot of base work is going on slash will be had. We got to do this base, man. I'm excited for it. Oh yeah, plus this happens every now and then. You just mine a block and then more gravel falls down. Mm. This is going to take a very long time with a lot of people doing it. Well, we'll end up doing it. Okay, should I buy the, should I buy the Slayer rank? Buy.CosmicPvP.com. Here we go. Right, come here. Add to cart. Let's go. Come on, boy. What planet? Dungeon planet. Best planet. My planet. There's a creator code? Why do I not have a creator code? All right, payment completed. Your payment has been made. Okay, come on, buddy. Give me it. I want it now. Why is it not working. See, I'm gonna get my thing soon, aren't I? I'm gonna get my kit. Hell yeah! Claim. <laughs> Summons a fallen hero equipped with Slayer Evolution kit equipment. Defeat the hero for a guaranteed drop of a V-Kit item set and a chance to get V-Kit Redemption Gem. What? I have to kill this thing? Oh my god. Update 578. The daylight is clearly fading and my sanity is too. So, this is the next thing up. Do you remember the chest with that little, with that grassy hill on? Yeah, we exploded it. Look at it, it's gone. But the main thing is getting rid of this giant hillside. We got me and Scorps, because we're the ones with the trench pickaxes, the explosives pick. We're doing the stone. So our job is just to go along and do this. But it's a whole mountain and it's a very difficult to do. And we didn't, that happens. But not not too bad. It could be worse. The thing is that we're just trying to get this whole thing just to water level. Right now we're at level Y level 72. God damn, this is difficult. We still haven't got enough trench picks to really like to get a bunch. What? Just see that cow jumping. Right now the current problem is some of the faction members have ranks. I think two people have ranks, two or three. But look at all these like random blocks floating in the air. Slash fly is only available to the top rank. The top rank's like 120 pounds, $120. So, ouch, you know, this hurts. What on earth, that cow is rich. But yeah, hillside's coming down. This mountain should be gone real soon. This hill's kind of leveling itself out. It's going all right. By the way, I asked Wuffles for a rank. He said, ha ha. Okay, if they won't give me one, I'm just gonna get the top rank. I'm just gonna buy a top rank. But yeah, I really want access to Slash Fly. That'd be very nice. The next time I cut back, something amazing would have happened or I would have bought a rank. <laughs> so I'll see you then. Ah, I got YouTube rank, baby. Drop us kids, drop us No, I'm not doing anything. Hey, can't touch me. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Cosmic YouTube rank. Let's go, baby. Sorry, who are you? Do you have YouTube rank on this server? I don't think I need to listen to you if you don't. I have 18 PVs. Omni gem. Right click to select any G kit to level up or redeem item. I don't know what a G kit is. Redeem your new G kit in G kit menu. G kit menu. G kit. 
Oh, cool. How often do I get to do that? Three days. Oh my god. <laughs> the thing that we want is the shovel. And also, that looks cool as well. Detonate five. Let's make them compete for it. Okay, I here's what we're gonna do. Yeah. I've got a... Just give me the shovel. Shut the f*** up. <laughs> here's what we're gonna do. I've got a shovel. I've got a shovel with efficiency five on it. And I've also mine, got a... Mine. I'm keeping the good shovel. And I've got a pickaxe with detonate five on it. Here's what we're gonna do. Shut up! Whoever can tell me the best joke gets the pickaxe. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, here's a good joke. <laughs> ah, no! That's not how you win! <laughs> Slime, maybe. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. It's taking a very long time, isn't it? Kazi, your turn, tell a joke. I don't know jokes. Finn's channel. Oh, here we go. I found one, I found one. Oh. One. What's the best thing about Switzerland? What is the best thing about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> well done. I don't want the pickaxe, I want the shovel. Well, too bad, you get a pickaxe. <laughs> With the plan for the base, we want to do a 2x2, two two, right? Yeah. Well, okay, can you do me a favor then, Zach? Um, yeah. Fly up here. <laughs> <laughs> Just come help me mark out where the base is gonna be and I'll fly up in the sky and build a ring. By the way, viewers that skip that because I'm good at we're good at editing here. No. Uh yeah, that took like how long? An hour or two? <laughs> This little square here, this is where we're doing it. It's gonna be a little bit weird going right up against the border. We might actually shorten the base a bit because the border on Cosmic is a bit different. If you walk into it, it'll teleport you back. And there's sometimes a good chance if you stand right at the top of the base, you teleport into the border, it'll teleport you in. And you you might get banned for it if you do it. Still don't want it to happen. My job, I'm gonna try and get rid of all the chunks uh, inside this area. So we'll just clear out the place for the base and then we can make the walls around it. Hopefully that's what we'll end up doing by today. I say like by today, like it hasn't already been about five hours. Alrighty, let's get these chunks mined out in three, two, one, BAM! Look how cool that looks. So dope. I can't believe we did all of that in just an instant. I'm just kidding, that took a very long time. <laughs> Finsta smells like hot. Please tell me that was you and not Yiprin that set that as the faction description. Yeah, it was me. Thank God. <laughs> Why? Finster smells like hot dog water is not something I want to play. Hey, Brad, edit that out of the video. Edit that out! Brad! No. <laughs> yeah, this is a fun little thing. It's now actually the time that I've completed it. Because this took so long, we actually got into a call with Yiprin, the admin on Cosmic. She's great. The only reason I'm kind of like, oh no, is because there's a lot apparently that we don't know. I want to figure it out myself. I don't just want to be told everything. But oh my god, I must have made so many people a uh, little bit annoyed. Cosmic players, if you watch my channel. Yeah, I shouldn't have bought that thing from Bycraft. <laughs> Apparently there's custom TNT, which we can figure out, you know, we, we got we got the base plan for that. We had some time to explore and we saw some faction bases and what they do is they will put a giant layer over the top of their entire base because roof cannoning is technically still a thing. Heavy quotation marks there. But yeah, small things that we need to change for the base, but I'm very glad we now know. But this entire thing got mined out, this took ages and I'm very proud of us. By the way, you can do this. <laughs> You can basically use free cam. It's part of Cosmic Client and you're allowed it. There are pets. I don't know what any of these do. There are masks. Ah, uh, there are skins. Ah, uh, anyway, I'm gonna place this. Right, three, two, one, bam. Oh, cool. I got a pickaxe with atomic detonate one, but my axe has atomic detonate three and my shovel is two. I mean, this gotta be better than the shovel I'm using. Well, let's try it. I got four. You got four? <laughs> I got atomic detonate four on a pick. And I got a water elemental pet. I got a water elemental pet and a fat bucket. That's something that can hold 256 lava sources. Yeah. Oh, that's way better. This shovel has atomic detonate two and it's nuts. Yeah, right, we really I'm... must have annoyed some cosmic players here. So this one is a three by three. That's how much damage this one does. <laughs> what the f <laughs> I feel like I should use it just because you're I'm taking need full damage. Way. You want to trade? Let's trade. No. No, let's <laughs> give me. I want to trade. No. Give, give me, I want to have it. No, I'm going to spend a lot of time digging with that later. I want to dig now. You mean oh yeah, Sorry. also another thing. While I was recording, everyone needed shovels. So I did a bunch of kits. So this is all I got from the kits. I did like the top two or top three kits. I got an ultimate cosmic chest. Don't know what any of them are. And I got a bunch of elite enchantment books, which sound good. And some money and some XP, which thank you, I will take that. And a heroic faction crystal. This crystal is used to purchase F upgrades. What are F upgrades? Basically, we need to keep keep those and um, put them in F chest or something because we 100% need them to get faction for life. We need like 120. Okay, well I've, yeah. put, I've put one of them in there. Ooh. Ultimate cosmic chest. This is like, oh, is this a crate key? Oh, f can I throw this out? Oh my God, I might have just done this with a full inventory. Frick, a simple mystery item. A skill voucher. 
Okay. A pair of boots. Okay. Skill voucher. Skill voucher. Soul tracker. Apply to weapons to start tracking ultimate souls collected from player kills. All right. Well, these are better boots than these ones, so I'll, I'll put those on. Oh, speed two. <laughs> unarmed and axes. Wait, there's unarmed? You can use unarmed on here? I got an atomic one pick. Which isn't, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Shut up. No, when the hired help gets the atomic detonate for and you're stuck with the one. <laughs> the hired help. Yeah, because the hired help does all the bloody work. <laughs> the next BR is in three minutes. You guys should do that. What is it? The what? It's it's a battle royale. What do you mean? What is it? <laughs> yeah. Battle royale joinable in 30 seconds. You prepared, Zach? I'm not on Cosmic Client, so I can't join. Wait, really? You know, I warned you. you need yeah. Okay, fine then. I'll I'm doing this all on my own. This is going to be great. <laughs>
Follow me. I'm just gonna take all of this. Is there anything that stands out to you as being an actual cosmic player that's, that's really good? <laughs> Let's see, you've got some heroic gear. Any red leather pieces of armor is okay. going to be better than diamond. <laughs> yeah, I would just, I would grab it all. Um, On the west wall near the back, you've got oh. an overload three chest plate. That one's pretty decent. Plus okay. it has obby shield and ghost three, which is helpful. Oh my God. All right, cool. I'll take all of this. Thank you, uh, unknown. The biggest, I don't know any of this stuff. There's just a piece of glow. Glowstone dust that I was like, that's gotta be valuable. It's just, it's not, it's just regular glowstone dust. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a quick question. You know destroy rate? Mm -hmm. So is that- It'll break your item. It'll break your pickaxe or it'll break oh, yeah. your- But I like my pick. I don't want it to go. How do so I- You get a white scroll. I don't have any of that. <laughs> oh, what is it? It's bright red. Auto sell book, 33%. How much does he want for it? He just gave it to you. Ah, oh, what a guy. Thank you. Take off your helmet. Oh, is it like doing You're damage? You're hurting him. I don't know what the enchants <laughs> do, you friend. Oh, what did he say? You guys need anything else? Yes, trench picks. White scrolls. White scrolls, ranks, PayPal. Donations. Right, that's a white scroll. Prevents an item from being destroyed. Bam, I put it on, then let's try auto sell. Bam. Your item would have been destroyed, but the white scroll protected it. He oh, says, nice. I got more. He just, uh, he, he likes helping out new players. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's got, sure uh, you know, a, he's even holding it. another one. I did it, it worked. I did it, it worked. <laughs> I did it at work! Hey! No, you'll find that if you show a little bit of appreciation, you'll yeah, get a lot more help. I'm gonna say that you're right about that because a random guy just paid me millions of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've now got, in theory, the ultimate pick. I'm gonna go test this out. Alright, I gotta I'm test gonna this. Join. Let me do slash bell. Uh, right, 17 mil and something else. If I mine that, is it gonna... Yep. That just went up $100 in one in one block. That's kind of OP. And then that just went up 2k. Okay, so this is pretty cool. And I'm not even at like... I'm just selling stone. I'm not, even, I'm not even hitting any of the good stuff. Okay, well, I'm glad we did it. Well, we still have a lot left to mine. But in all fairness, what we need to do right now is build, Zach. <laughs> We've done so much. The next up, we're gonna get a shell around the base. We really need to protect all the gear we just got. All of that stuff's gotta be protected. Sagdot's still bringing stuff back from that base. And good lord. I'm gonna carry on mining for a bit until Sag gets all the stuff back. But let's check it out. Yep. Boxes and boxes and boxes of loot. I've got a bunch in my PVs and we've still got all this stuff to protect. I can't even fit this in all my PVs. We need a base. Now, I'll see you when our, I'll see you when our little bat cave has been put up. Yeah, it is 5 a.m. <laughs> I want to die. My eyes stink. It's really late. I don't like this at all. You may have noticed this isn't cosmic. I'm in creative mode. Wow, Finn, did they really give you creative? No, we're back here again. So, we needed to change the base so much that yes, it took five hours to figure it out. So... <laughs> A lot of stuff goes into making an unraidable base, especially one of the defenses, the sneaky thing that we were going to do, which is half banned. Didn't know that. Sick. <laughs> Cobweb defenses. What we were going to use a little bit, or at least in partly, not exactly the secret defense. That's still later. We want to show you that later, just in case maybe we can get to use it. But in partly, these things are banned. The secret defense kind of relies on at least a little bit of this. Cobweb's gone. Very annoying. Very suck. When I spoke to Yiprin, she said, Oh yeah, we just usually keep the defenses if you can actually cannon them. Which, you can easily, so I didn't think it would be a problem. Anyway, you're not allowed to do them. So, we got a new plan. These pillars are actually just going to be replaced with flat walls. And we're going to move our little contraption there to over here. We're also going to add in my favorite thing on Earth. My favorite type of wall, which Sakta has edited out because he's a bad person. Finster walls. Not even kidding, I have a wall named after me. We're going 20 blocks in from here and we're putting more mine chats down. These are mine chats. We're going 20 blocks from the border and we're placing them about there. Basically to weed out anyone that's not very good at cannoning. We didn't want someone to just go through the walls, not have any anti-gravity TNT, which we now know is a thing. And you know, causes a hassle with patching. That's all we wanted. We need 20 walls. You can have 20 walls. We'll patch 20 walls. We don't want to patch 200 though. So we're slapping those at the front. Next up, we're doing finster walls. They're my favorite thing. They look like this. These are finster walls. Oh wait, no they're not. These are filters. 
But what happens if you combine them with the best wall in the game, in my opinion? You get this. These are actually the Finster walls. Me and a fellow Canada one day made these, and then I took the credit. Initially, the design was a bit different. I helped him tweak it. We made these. Basically, what this is, is usually the way people go through sand walls is they stack sand up here, and then they nuke it down. They tunnel straight down. They break the entire sand wall in one or two shots. Usually one. Which just defeats the point of sand walls, doesn't it now? So, let's say you wanted to go in this wall. Let's say you want to go through here on this this normal sand wall. How would you do it? You'd stack here, then you'd nuke down, and you'd do that maybe three times, and you would get in. How would you do it on this thing? You would need to stack here. Then you'd need to nuke down, which would break this one. And you kind of realize, oh, you've only broken about 10 blocks? Five, five blocks? You then need to do that again. Okay, you've broken 10 blocks this time. Fine. And then you need to do it again. 15 blocks. Nowhere near the like 40 that you could have broken the first one. That's the point of it. It makes sand walls sand walls again. I like them a lot. So we're gonna do a couple of those. Not gonna do too many because there are no sand gem buckets you need to place them manually. Really annoying to do. Especially on cosmic. The words felt weird coming out my mouth there. On cosmic. That's gonna protect us more at the bottom of the base. It's gonna make it really annoying to go through the bottom of the base. So yeah, I think that's pretty good for a starter. By the way, we also ran out of room. We think that the 2x2 two two is too small. So so we actually made it a 3x3. Three three. Yeah, that's a bit bigger. <laughs> this is gonna be the floor of the base. We haven't made the roof yet. A 140. This is gonna be where the base starts. The sand wall so we don't get as many people trying to reverse nuke us or reverse us. We're trying to get a feel for the cosmic landscape and my god, it is not easy. <laughs> we tried out everything. Look at how much stuff I got in my inventory right now. Because this was testing whether this worked. Look, we tested whether you can place, you can drop sand on signs. You can't. Buttons. String. All of which get stopped with the sand. You can't use them. We've been talking with the top faction, which I'm gonna get into a call with right now, to try and figure out what works and what doesn't. FBI are kind of helping us. The FBI. Where's my cool sunglasses? Do I have cool sunglasses? I have sunglasses, but they're not cool. Where's <laughs> Freeze, it's the FBI. Ha! I don't know what I'm doing, it's 5 a.m. There you are, Fallen Hero Slayer. My god, I want this thing. I mean, I don't need it anymore, annoyingly, because I got a different kit. That was a good use of my money. Anyway, let me jump into a call, and we're gonna figure out if we can actually do this. What on earth? What well, we you could try to spawn it up on the Patrick thing if you want. And see on the Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> this is, it's a work of art, my, my friends. <laughs> Thank you. You don't even need to do that on my head. Oh, you don't what? even need a block. What the f- Oh, no, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh, well, he got it. <laughs> What'd I get? Oh, I got a kit. Evolution <laughs> kit's left. Oh, You're this. kidding? <laughs> oh, it's no, wait. They didn't oh, die. No. Oh, no. <laughs> they didn't die. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. <laughs> Go on, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> that is so oh, close. Yeah. Hey. Oh. GG's. I did. I've got a dang plague bloater. Oh, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, wait, how good is it? How good's this guy? Make sure you don't have anything good in your inventory. <laughs> what were you saying? Whoa! He, yeah, he don't look that tough. Whoa, he looks that tough! Oh my god, dude, I am- What? I'm so dead. Yup. What the heck? It just- Bruh. I'm gonna kill this dude. One sec. God, hey, we, we getting them. We getting them. Oh my yeah, god. We are so not. I don't, I don't like this idea anymore. I, I regret my decisions. Dude, all these little baby things are so annoying to kill. I've got regular <laughs> armor. I don't even have custom enchants. I'm trying oh, my best. No, yeah. I'm trying. Get my oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. Hey, welcome to my nightmares, everyone. I'm on a combo right now, thing. bro. Yo. <laughs> oh, look at that. I got out of there on a combo. Look at that. Look at that. Where Follow my. Ah, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got 200 levels on axes. That's pretty decent. Yeah. Whoa, what is that thing? I got the ranger bow. You know how it is, hippie. <laughs> well, I got this, this, one, thing. this one's the easiest boss. Yeah, this one's the easiest one. Don't worry. I got something for you to open after we kill it. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay, why can't I bow you? Oh, yeah, I don't you like can, him anymore. You can bow it when it's green, but you have to melee it when it's uh, magma cube. Yeah, he was real cute, and then he put me in lava. Yeah, yeah, they, they do that. Hey, nice. Here, open up one of these bad boys. The slot oh, thing. I've got... Okay, I've actually got three of these. Hold on. Spin. There we go. Click, just... Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get it. Admin loot box. Oh, that... <laughs> you know, there it is. Oh, it's gonna land on it. On. Oh, it... Oh, it didn't. Maybe it didn't just... <laughs> 
Yeah. I got a dungeon portal. What's that? Dungeon Dun portal loot box. That'll give you some <laughs> items to craft a dungeon portal. What does this thing do? Let's figure out what this thing will do. It's really funny because I open all these and I have no idea what any of them are. So it's just like, yeah. wow, cool. This is colorful. Enchanted obsidian. We've done so much today. We have mined out almost to the end of the thing on over there. We've mined all of this out. We mined all these chunks out. We mined all of the grass out of here. We got new items. I'm slowly figuring out what cosmic is actually all of about. We've got a base defense plan now. Oh my god, we did a lot. Episode one is insane. I spent a whole, like, two whole working days on this. So, let's give this video a like, shall we? <laughs> anyway, if you like Cosmic, if you want to see some more, we're gonna do some more fun stuff next episode, I think. We're definitely gonna be raiding someone. Anyway, I'll see you then. Ooh, peace!